Hey everybody, I'm Sarah with our Furniture Flipping Adventure and welcome to the Ugly Duckling Challenge. The flippers of YouTube are searching for the ugliest piece of furniture that they can find to transform it into something completely different and save it from the garbage. Hosted by Corey of Desert DIY, we're all in a competition to see who can do the best at transforming an ugly little piece. Now, I know that the internet is full of differing opinions, but I think we can probably all agree that this poor little cabinet is an ugly duckling. But hopefully before I'm done with it, it'll be transformed into a beautiful swan. Hopefully. We'll have to wait and see. But come on, let's get flipping. All right, everybody, normally I start out my pieces with a really, really good clean, but that's not gonna cut it today. We have some awful peeling latex paint that's over what appears to be an original white finish. Somewhere along the line, somebody decided that white wasn't good enough and the screen would be better. I am, um, I disagree, but now all I can do is try to fix that. So I'm using my stripper. I've got clean strip. You can pick it up at your hardware store and I have a little scraper to scrape it off after it's done and some little scrubbies to get into the details of the corners because I'm gonna have to strip this whole thing and it's gonna take me a while so I gotta stop talking and I gotta start working. I'm going to start out by putting a whole lot of stripper on top. It's hot and when this stuff dries out or evaporates too quickly, it doesn't do its job. So I'm putting it on nice and thick in a layer over the very top to start with and then I'm supposed to let it sit for 15 minutes. Now you can probably see that I didn't need to wait a whole 15 minutes. It was starting to come up as soon as I was putting it down because this cabinet didn't get any sort of prep work, it didn't get any sort of primer, and it is just a shiny, slick surface that the paint didn't even care. It didn't want to stick to it, so it came up so easily. This is not generally typical results. It's normally a little bit harder to get paint off than this. <laughs> I had to kind of work in sections and rotate this cabinet an awful lot to get to all the different places, but like I said, it was working really fast, so it didn't take me as long as it would have if the paint had been properly prepped and put on there. Am I the only one who likes watching old paint be scraped off? I don't know, I found it very satisfying. So once all my paint was stripped off, I went ahead and sanded the whole piece with a light 220 grit sandpaper just to get some good adhesion for my paint so it didn't want to fall off like the green stuff did. But I didn't prime the piece because it is press board and that's not going to bleed through on me. I don't generally sell press board pieces. I prefer to work with quality pieces of wood, but this is not going to be sold. This is actually for me and my fall decor, so I don't mind a press board piece in my home, but it's just not something that I generally fix up to sell. I chose to spray the first coat of paint on because I really don't like brushing in all the nooks and crannies, and I flipped this piece all around and sprayed everything and got the inside all done and then I came back with for the second coat with my paintbrush and you'll see that a little bit later but spraying the paint on did make this first coat go a lot faster. Thank you. 
Now, I know throughout the rest of this video you're going to see that this cabinet seems quite wobbly, but in reality it's because I've taken the back off and the backs of pieces often works to just um, hold it all together and keep it from wobbling, so it's not that I have a wobbly cabinet so much as it just needs that back brace support and once I put it back together it was sturdy again. I decided to wax my piece and since I had black wax I went ahead and used that. I put a layer on all over and then waited for a good while because it was pretty humid out and then came back and buffed it with my rag. So here is my fall inspired fabric that I have chosen to do the doors with. If I were selling this piece I would probably do something a little more neutral and easy to sell. I was going to put in burlap but I decided when I went to Hobby Lobby and saw this that this would be the perfect pop of color for fall for my house. And you see I have a lot of extra fabric. I intend to sew up some pillows for my couch as well. I'm not generally a sewer, but you know, everybody's got to try new things every once in a while. To secure my fabric into place, I'm just using my staple gun that connects to my air compressor, and I'm doing my best to shoot the staples down into the groove where the door fronts that I punched out would have sat. After I got it all secured in, I went back and used fabric glue to fold it over twice just to get rid of those fraying edges and give it a nice finished look. Alright everybody, so there we have it. Ugly Duckling to fun fall decor. I love that I'm going to be able to change out the panels to go with whatever season that I'm in, just a couple staples and restapling, which since I have the stapler, it's a really easy project to do and it adds a lot of personalization to my decor. I had a cute little pumpkin to put on this, but my two-year-old apparently thought uh, it was cute. He dropped it on the floor and killed it. But I'm really excited for fall because fall means that it's going to cool down, right Texas? <sighs> this heat is really crazy right now, but that's okay. It's going to get better. And I'm glad you joined us on our flip today. We are going to be skipping Wednesday's video. I've had a construction zone going on and I just haven't been able to keep up with everything. But I'll be back on track on Saturday, so I hope you join us for that flip. Thanks for watching with me today and let me know if you like this version better than we started with. <laughs> I know I for sure do. So I'll see you guys on Saturday and if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and we'll see you again then. I'm Sarah with our Furniture Flipping Adventure. Bye now.